sister of him who was dead said to him Lord by this time there is a stench for he has been dead four days Jesus said to her did I not say to you that if you would believe you would see the glory of God then they took away the stone from the place where the dead man was lying and Jesus lifted up his eyes and said father I thank you that you have heard me and I know that you always hear me but because of the people who are standing by, I said this, that they may believe that you sent me. Now when he had said these things, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth! And he who had been dead came out bound hand and foot with great clothes, and his face was wrapped with a cloth. Jesus said to them, Loose him and let him go! above every other name, the name of Jesus Christ, our Messiah, our Savior, the 
Son of the Living God. We prophesy to every dead area of your life, dead wounds, dead tissues, dead organs, bones, marriages, businesses, ministries, dead dreams and visions, dead systems, dead economies, dead institutions, dead and dry lands, dead nations. We declare, come alive! We speak to every situation that seems hopeless and beyond redemption by the resurrection power in the name of Jesus. We say come alive and be fully restored in Jesus' name. Just as Lazarus came forth, we say come alive. And just as Jesus rose from the dead on the third day, we say come alive in Jesus' name. At the name of the one who is called the resurrection and the life. We speak to bodies and minds. We speak to families. We speak to destinies. We speak to the spirit of this nation. We decree, come forth, come alive. In Jesus' name. Amen.